Uh, my name is Rami Kanazi. Uh, I grew up in a small town in Western Massachusetts with 9,000 people. I would say about 8,990 of them were white. Then there was my Brown family, uh, and we got like another Brown family in eighth grade. That was a weird fucking experience. I moved to New York City four months before 9-11, and when those two towers came down, there was so much racism, that kind of vitriolic, we gotta go and turn that place into a parking lot mentality. We gotta nuke them and start over. Um, so I started to become, in terms of like politics, more leftist, more radical, uh, more open-minded when I was in Massachusetts, but that was just kind of like a fast forward experience. Um, and I didn't have a way to kind of like articulate the, and combat the mis misconceptions and stereotypes, whether about Arabs or Muslims or Sikhs or whatever America thought was Arab or Muslim. Um, so the first poem uh, I'm going to do, normally I would start off with kind of an angry one. Raise your hand if you know much about Palestine. Okay, a lot of people. Raise your hand if you know about as much about Palestine as I know about cooking by watching Top Chef. I thought that was poetic. Okay, <laughs> okay just like um, a note. You can snap your fingers, you can clap your hands, um, try not to frown too much. I'm fragile, I'm a poet, I may cry. Um, but, so for anybody that doesn't know, uh, this first piece is, I'll explain it through poetry, is called Refugee. Uh, my parents and grandparents are refugees from 1948. My mom is from a place called Yaffa. Uh, my father's from Haifa and Nazareth all which are now part of the, the state of Israel today. So from 1947 to 1949, 750,000 Palestinians were ethnically cleansed, 530 villages were demolished, um, and my grandmother was pregnant with my mom when they were expelled from Yaffa. So this is a follow-up poem to uh, the Nakba, and it's not something that ended in 1948, but it's something that continues until this day. Uh, and the refugee experience is not unique to Palestinians. Uh, whether we look at today Syria or Iraq. Um, but this is kind of recalling the experience of a father who was expelled as a child in, in 1948 uh, and his daughter who lives under occupation today within the West Bank. <laughs> 